Thank you so much for clicking on this link and spending a few minutes investing in the Horizon Christian Academy community. This year, we wanted to try something new and record a state of the school report so that we can all join the conversation, as well as pass it on to other invested relatives and families who might be considering joining our family. Through your surveys, our vision night conversations, and carpool line conversations, I've heard so many of you who are concerned about protecting our culture and our identity as we grow. And I think it's a valid concern for sure. In fact, growth is not the hard part. We haven't spent any money on marketing. We are growing solely on your word of mouth to friends and family. So growth has not been hard, but maintaining our culture and identity as we grow is difficult. And that is what this report is about. We can all use a reminder of who we are and why we are. Because as one of my old bosses used to say, vision leaks. And so we need to refill on it every now and then. So with that said, let's jump in. Our mission at Horizon Christian Academy is to prepare our students to be world changers by partnering with families through Christ-centered education and community. Everything we do should come back to these words if this is actually our vision. And I'm happy to report that I believe absolutely that it is. And I wanna focus on five big ideas. Christ-centered, world changers, partnering with families, education, and community. Let's start with what is most important and that's Christ-centered. This is our most important distinctive in the county. This is what separates us from almost every other school, and so this is where we always will start. We have been, are, and always will be Christ-centered. We've made a good bit of progress in this area this year. For instance, for the first time, we have a full-time director of spiritual life, Steve Harmon, Though he's been part of the HCA family for years, was not completely full-time until this year. And now he's focused on the children and families of HCA full-time. He has begun the process of working with our Bible classes from K through 12. He's in the middle of the long process of aligning our content, our events, and our strategies so that parents, the primary spiritual influence, can lean in and leverage what's happening at HCA for their own children's growth. We are so excited to have all of Steve he is a talented, committed, and faithful leader, and we are blessed to have him. We have also utilized much of our professional development time on Wednesdays to discuss strategies and practical tips for integrating a Christian worldview into every class from elementary through middle and onward into high school. So much more to discuss, but I wanna remind you that everything falls under this category for us. This is why our warrior code starts with the simple phrase, look up. The second big idea I wanna discuss is the idea of world changers. This is so important to us because this is what Jesus asked us to do. He told us to go out into the world. He told us to take part in his redemption. And we as followers of Jesus are the body of Christ. And we as followers of Jesus should actively be making this world a better place and leading others to him. If you've been following our social media accounts, you can see just how much our students and families are doing for the city of Cumming and for Scythe County. I wanted to share with you one of our most recent awards. We now have a trophy for the Interact Club of the Year. Under the leadership of Everett Rhodes, our Interact Club president, and our club, which is only three years old, we beat out more than 73 other clubs in this region to win this honor. This trophy is one of our first trophies for service. I think that's amazing. And I can't wait to display it amongst the other amazing athletic, academic, and fine arts accomplishments of our school. I am so proud of our students and I'm so proud of our Interact Club. Now, on to the third idea of partnering with families. Based on your feedback through surveys and vision nights, and based on your participation in this year's Believe Fund, we were able to raise over $375,000 for progress for our school. As a family, we decided on the themes of instructional technology, lights for the parking lot, and the establishment of our Thrive Team. And as always, one more thing, lights for the football field. By November, we had state-of-the-art interactive boards installed in almost every classroom. And this has been a huge upgrade, and it equips our teachers in ways we never dreamed of, so thank you for that. Parking lot lights were installed in January to help with safety at night. And I'm excited to announce that we've been able to hire an additional counselor and officially establish our Thrive Team. 
This consists of our academic dean, our pastors, our counselors, and our 412 teachers to ensure that every child and family in our school gets the individual attention they need to address academic, emotional, and faith issues so that each student can develop into the unique world changer God has called them to be. This is so exciting. Next, let's discuss the education portion of our mission. I like to say that we are primarily a collection of Christ-centered families who are raising world changers together. School is just kind of how we do that. And while I do think this is an important distinction, I don't want to minimize just how great of a college prep school Horizon is. And this year we have made great strides in this area thanks to the leadership of Tracy Jones and the time we've set aside for professional development. We have spent those hours aligning our curriculum and educational strategies vertically. This means that we've had time to meet and discuss how we teach a certain subject over the years as a student is with us. This minimizes confusion by aligning our vocabulary and reducing overlap. We have also used this time to work horizontally. This means that teachers at a certain grade level can talk about some of the bigger ideas and themes and teach them across subjects in certain years. As I stated earlier, we've done a bunch of work on biblical integration, but that is just one of the important examples. Tracy has also led our 412 team to make tremendous strides in organizing that program. On top of that, God has brought us some amazing and tremendous talent and experience in that area. We could not be more thankful for those leaders and those teachers. I also wanna mention how these 412 changes have trickled down to almost every aspect of our school. For example, because of these changes, we shaped a new application and enrollment process that is ensuring that those families who join us are not only aligned with our mission, but that the children that we accept will be able to succeed in our environment. These changes have also shaped our testing strategies so that we can better monitor our student progress over the years and identify learning differences more effectively and quickly so we can take action sooner. And finally, I want to address community. I would love to take a moment and let you know what you've done for our HCA community, specifically our teachers. As you know, we have no school without great teachers. The board, which by the way is made up of HCA parent volunteers, has been hard at work for the last few years working to make HCA the best place to teach in the county. And the concept is simple. When we have the best teachers, we have the best school. That being said, the board has to make some tough decisions in order to make sure our compensation packages for our teachers are more competitive. Based on our third party audits every year, salaries and benefits are about 60% of our expenses. And so if I were to simplify it, tuition is primarily driven by our salaries and benefits for our teachers. Because it's not something you see every day when you drive onto campus, I wanna give you some highlights about what you have accomplished as a school. First, we have made significant progress in salaries and we are very, very close to our goals that we feel will attract the right teachers and keep them. Now, we all know salary is just part of it. Great kids, great supportive families, and realistic class sizes are also huge benefits and they're working. Now, speaking of benefits, over the last year, we have added short-term disability, we've added life insurance, and for the first time in HCA history, we've added health insurance. Allison Smith has been amazing at leading that charge, and we truly have a great program for our teachers. Lastly, this year we are excited to add a 401k retirement package, as well as an FSA program for our teachers. More details to come on that as we hit our new fiscal year on July 1st. So, way to go HCA. Tough decisions for the right reasons are what separates good organizations from great ones, and that's what we're doing. So there is much more to talk about. And one of my goals for next year is to make sure that I'm communicating more often throughout the year of the progress that we've made. So now I'd like to leave you where we started. Growth is relatively easy. The hard part is maintaining our identity and culture in the midst of that growth. So here's where we are going. Our recent annexation into the city has allowed for several opportunities for us. First, we have an increased police presence with city police. We love the county's sheriff's department and we'll continue to work with them, but there are simply more city police in our immediate area than county sheriffs. We will also be less than a half mile from the new police headquarters in city center, and they are working on that right now. And finally, we hope to see a coming police officer as our school resource officer next 
year. Second, the annexation has rezoned us from a county residential zoning to a city institutional zoning. This will allow us to develop our 34 acres for the future. We've been in contact with many of you over the last several months to discuss and dream what this might look like. We also dreamed on Vision Night about what the development of our land might look like in the very near future. I'm excited to let you know that next year's Believe Fund will look a bit different. We will be talking specifically about what it will take to move forward and build the buildings we will need in order to accomplish our vision at HCA. I can't wait to show you some of the things our architects and civil engineers have been working on next fall, but for now, here is just a hint. We feel like our small school strategy meets a workable business plan at about 50 students per grade level. So in the long run, we would love to have 500 to 600 kids K through 12, and that's it. This will require some new buildings for middle and high and a new gym that will give us an indoor space big enough for the entire HCA family. This plan will also include renovating our current facilities and buildings into the elementary school. We have so much to discuss next year, and I'm so excited, but let's not hurry. Let's not hurry past the fact that we will be graduating and launching 27 amazing seniors and world changers into this world. Let's celebrate our progress. Let's celebrate the amazing people God is bringing to be part of our community. Let's celebrate huge progress in our fine arts and our end of year productions in a building just like this. Let's celebrate our athletic success. I mean, did you know that as of the date of this recording, we've had five of our varsity teams play in the state finals? That's amazing. Let's celebrate that we get to do life and raise kids together alongside of amazing families. God bless you and thank you for the opportunity to lead in such an amazing culture and an organization. So have a great summer, rest well. We have so much to do when we get back together in August. I'll see you then.